So the strings on the harpy are uh, silk cut strings, they're very good, very strong. They shouldn't really break ever, um, only in under extreme circumstances. Uh, so um, there have been, you know, uh, a small percentage of uh, breakages that we've heard about from uh, people, uh, but we usually found out that uh, there was a particular reason uh, for that, uh, and not something being wrong with the string, but the way in which it's been uh, put together. Um, so there's one thing that can be a fault uh, that hasn't been discovered with customers yet, but that we've seen ourselves is that um, the tuning, some of the tuning pins, uh, we've so far discovered two that had um, a, uh, a less rounded off, so uh, this rounding off in the hole wasn't there. So that means that it's a little bit sharp, which we think might, uh, if you're unlucky, uh, make the string break there. So that could be one thing to check if your string is breaking at the tuning pin. Uh, send us a picture of uh, your tuning pin and if it is missing this kind of rounded off, rounding off of that hole, then we'll send you a, a new pin immediately. Um, that hasn't happened so far in real life, uh, but that's yeah something that we wanted to uh, warn you about in front, in, uh, up front. Um, then, um, yeah, so then it's really a matter of um, uh tuning very uh, slowly that is the key um don't go too fast because it, as, when you pull a string it needs to kind of settle itself to that new situation and then um uh slowly relax and then you can tune it again and again and again and slowly stretch it to its uh, to its full tension so don't go too fast uh, with that uh, then it's a matter of um uh, making sure that your you have the right uh, knots here at the top. Um, that's quite important. Uh, the wrong knot could mean that the string is kind of sitting in an awkward way and might uh, uh, break sooner than normally. Um, that's pretty much anything that can go wrong with breaking the string. If you find that the same string is breaking over and over, then you might consider not doing it again, but uh, giving us a little buzz and we'll trying to um, uh, do a little bit of digging into why that might be. Um, but in general, the, the advice is just uh, do it uh, when you're relaxed, when you have time. Uh, let the strings uh, settle a little bit. Uh, don't put too much force in it. Uh, another thing about the tuning pins um, is, uh, again, they also uh, need a bit of gentle treatment. Uh, so if you find that they're very, um, that there's a lot of force required to turn them, then you might have uh, started uh, tuning them a little bit in, uh, too deep. So you might, uh, you know, again, it's it's wood, so every piece of wood is a bit different. So you need to kind of have a little bit of feel for how the tuning pin is behaving. If it's very tight, then just uh, make sure that you start the tuning process with the pin a little bit further out so it has less friction. There's not a lot of friction required to keep the, uh, the strings in place, uh, perhaps a bit more in the lower end, but in the higher end, uh, the, st the string sits quite comfortably is if the pin is not super tight. Um, so again, don't over tighten, don't go too fast. Um, if you feel a lot of friction, then just take a, a little step back. Uh, so you would prevent any kind of unnecessary uh, damage to the hub. And you can always contact us for questions.